uh, that kids will trade. The phones have lots of personal information in them. Jen Westhoven, you might be seeing higher prices at the pump on your way to work, and she has been watching all that for us. Jen Westhoven, how are the prices going? Uh, little by little by little, right? You know, they were going little by little, but I noticed that they've been picking up. Oh, so, really? yeah, so for example, they were up almost two cents overnight. Uh -huh. You know, it used to be they were up like a half a cent, you know, eight tenths of something you wouldn't necessarily notice. But I have noticed that over the past week, it's almost one cent every night, sometimes more, and last night, almost two cents. That's 31 days in a row of price hikes. AAA says the national average is now about $2.47. And this is just, you know, we're only a little bit after Memorial Day, so they could go higher. Analysts say, though, they don't expect to see $3 gas this summer as the national average. But remember, one, hurricane season is just starting up. And two, these guys don't exactly have a great track record considering what's happened over the past year or so when it comes to gas prices. Not necessarily their fault, but they didn't think we were going to see $4 gas. And they didn't think we were going to see $2 gas after that. I do think it's a safe bet if we just make a prediction for this weekend you'll probably see $2.50 out there. Now, while the economy is struggling very much, Mexico's tourism industry has also had a very hard time. Uh, cancellations over fears of swine flu, also cartel drug violence have taken a big hit there. So these are some good prices. Haven't, don't get to, too many opportunities like this. This is not for the faint of heart, but if you're somebody who's willing to take a risk, there are some amazing deals to Mexico right now. That could be some good news in a bad economy. Some of the airfares are down 35% in recent weeks. There are packages to places like Cozumel and Cancun, and geographically, they're away from the border, so they're mostly separated from the kind of border violence you hear about there. Those packages down 50%. That's huge. And, yeah, and hotel rates down, too. Uh, somebody on the staff was just telling me uh, they found a deal where they could stay for basically about 100 bucks a night. When you can go to a foreign country for 100 bucks a night, including airfare, that's a great deal. Beach weather, you know, little drinks with the, with the things in it, the little umbrellas. Yeah, learn a little something about the culture. Hola. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, thank you. <laughs> See ya. You know the $6 million man? Take a look at the $3 million dog. There he is. When an Air Force colonel came back from Afghanistan, his wife had divorced him and sent his dog to a rescue group. He sued the rescue group for $3 million to get Jasper back.